I'm about whatever, man. Fuck what they be talking about. Their opinion doesn't count. We the only thing that matters. All. So we do it how we do it. I'm Mark Clark, and I'm a fashion designer. I'm from Prince George's County, Maryland. I've been in New York for four years, and at first I wasn't into fashion. I mean, I was always into fashion, but I never envisioned myself being um, my own designer, having my own company and um, doing accessories and t-shirts and stuff. Um, my main focus when I was younger was actually to be a producer, a TV producer, and to have my own production company. Uh, I started designing, wow, I had, with, I had a business partner and we had a t-shirt company six years ago. And we were just localized in Maryland and we sold t-shirts in our high school and after a while getting a lot of orders and people, you know, talking about us and word of mouth, we decided to really take it serious. So we got, you know, incorporated and we were in a big store called Up Against the Wall, who they have 60 stores across the country. Um, after being with that company for several years, I decided to part ways and start Mark C. So I had a lot of experience in the past that I was able to bring forward into my company. April of last year, of 2009, I had a dream one night that I had a fashion show during New York, New York Fashion Week, and Lady Gaga was my performer at my show, and she opened my show wearing this big oversized bow tie. And I was like, wow, I woke up, and like, I make bow ties. And I never thought about making bow ties until the night before. So there was a canvas bag hanging on my doorknob in my room. <clears throat> so I ran over, and it was, it's like a movie, but I cut the bag into pieces and I start tying the bag different ways and using the fabric in like all these type of crazy ways. I got some tape and some safety pins and I was trying to make the perfect bow tie. I was trying to bring my dream and that vision I had when I was asleep to life. And I did it. I came up with my first prototype bow tie. It was from a canvas bag, so of course I wasn't gonna wear it. But just me having my dream and that manifest into my reality at the, at the time was crazy. I went to the fabric store, I'd never been fabric shopping before. Um, and I bought just different materials and stones and marbles and just crazy stuff that you would never think about incorporating on a, on a bow tie. After trial and error and a couple uh, different um, designs, I came up with the bow tie you see right now. So after my bow ties, it became a hit. It was kind of a trend in New York, Pe people rocking um, the bow ties. So I'm thinking to myself, like, what's next? What's next? This past Christmas, um, I got a, Nite a Nintendo Wii for my mom. She gave it to me for Christmas. And I went to Blockbuster and I ran across um, Sonic the Hedgehog. And his sidekick was Tails. And then right next to it was Mario Brothers. And he had a, they had a picture of the Mario with the tail hanging from him. I'm like, you know what, that would be damn cool if I could bring that to life and get some foxtails and have that as an accessory. So it happened. I bought foxtails out and now it's happening. Um, I met a designer, her name is Baina, and uh, also another guy, his name is Tashua. They're from Japan and they're wonderful artists. We collaborated. Um, on these glasses that you see right here. They're 100% brass metal. They're handmade in Japan. It takes 15 plus hours to make one pair. We collaborated on different designs and just the whole construction of it. They actually created over in Japan and it's a work of art. It's not even fashion, it's art. So what's cool about these glasses, you can use these as a you know, pair of shades, um, you know, be real fashionable. And they're also a piece of art. You can have them on your coffee table or your office desk. So very versatile, I love it. Rihanna has worn my bow ties, Diggy Simmons, Angela and Vanessa Simmons. Lady Gaga has a pair of my glasses. So does M.I.A. and Katy Perry. And Will I Am. he wears the glasses on the Black Eyed Peas um, world tour right now. I remember my very first piece of accessory period was worn by Estelle. We were at Greenhouse last year, last May, and she wore a, um, a royal blue bow tie, and it had a chain, like a gold chain in the middle of it. And it was, she loved it, it was so dope. And she 
was rocking in the club and I had my I had a red bow tie on so people were like oh that's your bow tie Stills wearing I'm like yeah that's my bow tie like it was hype because mind you a month before I just created my bow tie so just seeing a celebrity um, who has influence on other individuals um, gravitate to my design so early was it was like crazy yeah so she was waving her jacket at me and I'm like that's what's up it, it was just it was a great feeling I can remember that night like it was last night. So I wake up every morning at 7.30, 7.45, and I'm emailing. I'm checking emails. I'm following up with requests and pulls I had the day before or the week before. I'm contacting different artist management, um, talking to stylists. I'm also brainstorming of different designs I can do in the future because I'm inspired by everything around me. So I'm always getting inspiration or some type of idea or thought on a new product. Then I'm out to photo shoots, and I'm out with, to meetings, and just a crazy day full of running around the city, FedEx and UPS and, and shipping orders, um, and meeting with clients. So it's, it's a full day. I look at it as normal. Um, I have a new assistant, and she's like, wow, this is crazy. Like, how do you do it? And the thing is, with, in my profession, I don't really know what's gonna happen tomorrow. I wake up, and I'm like, this is what's going on. So I'm kind of programmed to um, go about my day in the sense of just being prepared. You have to be prepared, always. I'm inspired by everything. Um, I could walk down the street, I could see a bird, I could see an ant, I could see a leaf, I can see ew, a car, colors, um, shapes and circles and babies and Anything you could think of that might look weird to you looks really dope and artistic to me. So I take everything around me and I apply it to some aspect of my work or some aspect to my designs, construction, industrial stuff, colors, and it, anything in the whole world. Um, life to me is a, it's a wonderful thing. Just waking up every morning, being able to breathe and to walk and to do stuff that some people don't have the opportunity too. Um, so I love life. That's a slogan I live by. I have a t-shirt that says love life. In the future I see myself still des designing of course. Um, having more of a household name as a brand, Mark C. Just a whole fashion house. Jewelry, shoes. I'm the next Mark Jacobs. I'm gonna say it now. I am. If I could give myself advice 10 years ago, it would be to stay focused. Um, stay positive, remain humble, and just be determined to achieve your goals. And that, I kind of did give myself that, that advice. I told myself by when I was 25, which is a year away from now, that I have to be a, mi a millionaire. And that was my focus from when I was 14. So I've been keeping that in my head like every day. I would still wake up and like, you know what? Whatever you do, it has to be your next million dollar deal. Like you have to achieve your goal. So that's still runs through my head over and over and over again like Marcus you know do this do that and it keeps me focused and I think if you set goals for yourself and you set a vision for yourself and you um, aggressively aggressively attack that vision and you stay on that path to lead you to that road to success you'll be great I am Mark Clark and I'm a leader of the new school I'm about whatever man fuck what they be talking about their opinion doesn't count we the only thing that matters I so we do it how we do it, all up in the